I am Anil Kumar sharing with you few applications of vectors to geometry. Here is a very interesting question. You need to prove that the diagonals of a rhombus intersect at right angles. Right? So let's uh, make a rhombus. Rhombus is a quadrilateral where opposite sides are parallel and equal. Right? So that is a rhombus. So what we are given here is that these sides are parallel, the opposite sides, it's a parallelogram, and all are equal, right? So all sides are equal, correct? So that is a rhombus. Now, we need to prove that the diagonals intersect at right angles. So let's label this, let's say this is A, B, C, D, and the diagonals are A, C. and B to D. These are your diagonals. So we want to prove that they intersect at right angles. Okay. Now, in this particular case, we know that the magnitude of AB is equal to the magnitude of BC, which is equal to the magnitude of CD, is equal to the magnitude of AD or DA, right? So that is given to us and we are also given that they are equal vectors. So AB, vector AB is actually equal to vector DC and the vector AD is equal to vector BC since it is a rhombus. Okay? Now to prove that they are intersecting at right angles, we will find the dot product, right? So basically the concept is that the dot product of uh, these two diagonals, which is A, B and B, D, A, C and, uh, sorry, A, C and B, D should be equal to zero, right? So that is what we want to prove, basically. If that happens, then they are intersecting at right angles. Correct? So let's begin by finding what the dot product is. So let's see what is dot product of AC with B to D. Now AC could be written as a combination of AB and BC. So we could write this as AB plus BC dot B to D is C, B, B, C plus C, D. Correct. Now, A, B and C, D are opposite vectors. So I could also write this as A, B plus B, C dot B, C minus, instead of C, D, we could write A, B, right? Now let's expand. So we have A, B, dot bc and then we have minus sign ab dot ab with bc we have bc dot plus sign bc dot bc minus sign bc dot ab okay now a B dot B C and B C dot A B is one and the same thing, so they cancel out. All right, they cancel out. So you are left with these two, which I'm going to rewrite. B C dot B C. This is so B C dot B C is basically the square of the magnitude. Let me write here first B C dot B C minus A B dot A B, right? So that is the magnitude of BC square minus the magnitude of AB square. And these two magnitudes are equal, right? So magnitudes of AB and BC are equal. We are given that since it is a rhombus. And therefore, this is equal to zero. Perfect. Since the dot product is zero, they are going to intersect at right angles. Okay. So therefore, the diagonals 
intersect at right angles. I hope that is clear, right? Feel free to share your comments and views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.